In this video, we are unlocking gear five inside of Haze Peas. Now I know I've already technically done a video on gear five and Haze Peas, but that was in the test server. This is me actually unlocking gear five and doing the grind for it. So if you haven't ready and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help about the channel, but let's go and get started because this took an unreasonable amount of time to do. All right, let's get started. And just looking, yeah, there is one new island to go to, which we'll head to in a second. I quickly want to go ahead, though. And because there's new maxes, I just want to see what the new maxes. Let's see. Okay, it's a little bit higher. That's fine. Cool. I also put a little bit into combat so that way I can have more stamina. I'll save the rest yet again, but gear five is out. Let's go ahead and become gear four. Love that. All right, let's head over to the new island and let's some get some of the new stuff. Of course, the first thing we have to do is we have to try to get level three thousand that is the current goal okay there's the quest and luckily we can just fly up there pretty easily we have a new code though gear fifth there we go that gives some race spins gems and another hour of times to experience so now we technically have 12 hours of extra experience which we'll go ahead and start using now to do these quests we're gonna start off with killing the beast pirates this is gonna be great that everyone's just gonna be farming this there's so many people hunting kaido right now for summons i also need to get used to the combat because i've been playing king's legacy so i'm not used to the controls right now and there we go level 2900 so now we can go ahead and do the next enemy which is these guys over here we should hopefully still be able to do the grind like right here nope still only hit three Let's see. Will this spot work? Nope. Okay, I only hit three at a time. I mean, let's just see. This this gives 8.9 and you give 8.6. Okay, that's about the same amount of experience. I'm just going to keep killing the beast pirates because these guys are a bit too spread apart. This one's much more consistent to grind. All I got to do is this. Wait a second, then do this and then back up and do this. Easy. Yeah, I'll just keep doing this. It's not that much less experience. Oh, and looks like they have a dragon. I'm, I'm going to join in on the dragon. This boss will be much easier when there's less people. I'm not even sure if I can get drops. Yeah, I didn't even get drops there. There's way too many people i'm probably gonna have to do the boss in a private server yeah i'm talking about this guy this guy spawned in the boss and he didn't get the drop so i'm probably going to grind the actual boss itself on a private server which will be much much more difficult but he didn't get the drop despite getting an orb so hopefully they'll fix that to where at least the owner has a guaranteed chance to get the drop even if they don't deal damage why do i keep claiming the elite beast i keep doing that okay I, i'm claiming the wrong one. Oh, this guy spawned a dragon i actually want to go ahead and try to get at least 20 percent if i can get a drum early that would be exciting hey yeah, there we go we got a drum early let me store that right away because you can lose that on death awesome so i have a drum i have a drum ready so we can get gear five awesome let me go ahead and reset because i have no health now so in 53 levels i can get gear five at least the first stage of it okay we need to work and get max levels as fast as possible because i have all the money and gems for it luckily leveling in this game really isn't that difficult you just gotta know where to grind and this update it's these for enemies i'm in the same server it's just less people in here now but there we go nine five fifty so now i have access to being able to do kaido's quest and i'm actually gonna go ahead and start doing this even though i already have a drum i still want to run it because first of all, it gives more experience, but also I think he has more drops. I think he drops a weapon and maybe a hat. I honestly don't know if it's this enemy or another that drops those, that one Kaido hat, but I do want it. The fleet of gear fours already. By the cool little tip while you're flying, just spam E while going past the quest NPC. That way you don't gotta like walk back. Yes, doing this with a group will make it a lot easier. I mean, hey, I already have a drum. I haven't even really fought the boss yet. Hey, I got base V2. There we go. I'll go in and equip that. Look at that. I can't use it because I don't have any sword stats, but I got the new maze. Exciting. I just hope I can get that one Kaido hat because I don't think my stats even better. Well, dang it. The server got too big again. Like, I'll stay here and grind, but there's way too many people. So I really, I kind of hope I don't get the orb because even if I get it, I won't be able to get a drop from it because I'm already fighting really hard to get credit on the Kaido. Are you kidding me? I got a dragon orb. That sucks. It's also really lucky, but it's kind of sucky. Okay, I want to go ahead before I do anything. I'm going to keep the dragon orb. I'm, let me finish leveling up and then I'll attempt. Because right now it ain't worth spawning. There's <laughs> way too many people. Yeah, see, I hit a Kong gun and I didn't get credit. Anything above four people is too many. And we have, we have definitely have more than that. No credit. I'm not getting credit. This is, this is annoying. I'm so mad I got a dragon orb. I have to wait it out if I actually want to use it. There we go. Okay, that got, that got me credit. 10 more levels to go. Watch me watch me get another one. So you can actually get credit because there's only four people there right now. Two more levels, like one more kill. And there we go, level 3000. Let me just see, can I store the orb? Please let me store the orb. I can't. 
Okay, so some people left, not people paying attention. Let's see if we can spot it and get enough damage. Apparently, there was also a glitch where only one singular person could get the drums per boss, but they fixed it in new servers. So let's hope that it's fixed here. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully, we can get enough damage. I also waited until some gear five guys that were BMing left. It's been a, it's been a bit since the last clip, just waiting for them to leave. And no drum. Okay. I wonder if it's because I already had one. Well, either way, that's a little sucky. I'm going to rejoin the server and just join a small server. Let me go ahead. Let's... Yeah, it looks like that guy got the drum. Man, it's an annoying glitch. Well, let's go ahead and learn Gear 5 for 500k and 100 gems. So there we go. Now I've access to Gear 5. Really cool. I can't really use it yet, though, because all I have is the lightning. The lighting's so cool, though. Um, So let's keep using Gear 4. And let's fight some more Kaidos and let's hopefully get lucky. I'm joining a new server though, because that's a very annoying glitch. Hey, just got a Dragonor. Let's go. Didn't take long to get. Let's hopefully get the drop. I joined a new server. So hopefully this one doesn't have that glitch. Uh, no drums. You've got to be kidding me. But this guy got it instead. Thank you. The guy that with already maxed out gear five got it instead and gave it to me. So thank you, Master C 2008. You're a kind person. I wish, I wish they would just shut down the servers. Let's go ahead and learn the next skill. So there we go. Okay, what's the second skill it unlocked for me? So now I have God Clap. Awesome. Four more of those dragons to go. Okay, another dragon orb. But there's a bit too many people around. I was actually about to leave this server and buy a private. You gotta discreetly do this. But because of observation hockey, everyone can see where anyone's at. You can't really discreetly do something like this. Well, let's do this and I'm just gonna buy a private server after. I'm basically only, because I'm basically the only one getting them for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, look how many people there are. Okay, I got an idea. As soon as it gets really low, I do a punch at the end. Yes, I got it. I was the one to get it. Yes, makes me happy. I'm leaving either way because that is so risky doing it for some reason. I'm so happy y'all get to do this when it's fixed. I'm having to do this when it's broken. There we go, another skill. If I go ahead and activate gear five again, now I now have spiritual dominance. I have the hockey thing. That is awesome. Three attacks so far. How many do I got left? I think I, think I have three more. I'm halfway done. This is going quite fast, actually. I've only been doing it for about an hour so far. And I already got three of them. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to buy a private because even though it's faster with more people, there's a risk of not getting it. Very appropriate name for it, too. Okay, let's do this. Private server time. How much can I do with one combo of attacks? Most of his health. He has a bit left. So this is, this is going to be so much slower. Oh, my gosh. I mean, just out of curiosity, I have three attacks. Does this do more? If I do gear five, do I do more damage with my three attacks? Let's see. I use lightning. I missed. Okay, I need to learn how to aim that. Okay, hit that, then clap, and then do this. Okay, it's still less. I need to unlock more attacks if I want to farm with this one. But it's still pretty effective. Sticking with gear four. Hey, let's go! Another dragon orb. That took a few minutes. I'm getting it surprisingly fast. I wonder if it's because of my drop rate or if it's just because I'm truly getting lucky right now. But let's go ahead and summon Kaido. Let's see how many tries it takes me for to kill him. Because I did this in the test server and it took me several lives to actually do. Yeah, that is only 4%. My lord, that is like 19% on the V2 boss. I'm doing quite well, actually. I'm dead. Okay, how much did I do? I, I, I did 54%. Actually, not too bad. I'm proud of myself. I did good that time. I don't even really know if I'm meleeing him or not. I don't know if I'm actually hitting him. Looks like I am, but just barely. There we go. We did it. Oh, I'm going to die. Okay, I'm not going to die. We're good. Oh, yeah. Make sure he, um, yeah. Make sure that when you're killing him, that before you do the final blow, make sure you have a little bit of health remaining because sometimes, because I have a feeling he could potentially kill you after you kill him and you'll lose the drum. I'm realizing that now. That's kind of dangerous. Well, let's go ahead and get the next attack. I think, is this one the big punch? Oh, no, this is the giant. Oh, I know this, this one. This is a good one. I like this one. Yeah, this is Gomu Giants. I'm large again. Awesome. Cool. Now we just need two more of those. We're so close. Fly away. All right, back to killing Kaido over and over again. Oh, yeah, I just also want to check real quick. Can I do more damage now? Um, we did pretty well. Yeah, we did quite well with this one, actually. I think I'll go ahead and grind with gear five now. Yeah, you really have to be facing like this when doing the, doing the lightning. You have to hold the lightning so you can actually aim it. And I'll show you why in a second. That's because if I, if I tap Z while aiming at him, I miss because my camera goes up. Like, watch out for that, I guess. Like, make sure you're aiming down when you're doing the lightning or just hold it. Still grinding for another one of those upgrades. But the Shogun spawned in his castle and I haven't actually fought him yet. So let's fight him with four of the gear five moves. Might as well. Let's see how much damage I do. Um, not 
not a bad amount, actually. Yeah, I can beat this guy up. I've also learned that Gear 5 is actually really good because you're able to overlap like a lot of the abilities because I just did God Clap and Spiritual Dominus at the same time there. But I haven't actually fought this guy yet, so I don't have any of his drops. So hopefully we get something. There's also a Sea Beast nearby, which I'm guessing I'll also go fight. My lord, the range on Spiritual Dominus is so wide. And there we go. Defeated him and got nothing. No rewards. Like, I can do Spiritual Dominus and the big attack, then a clap, basically all at the same time. I have to take a boat because there's nowhere to stand to fight the Sea Dragon. I don't have a fly. <laughs> I don't think it can beat up boat. So hopefully it can't. All right, let's do this. Not having a fly is going to cause me a lot of issues. And I'm dead. Ow. Well, I did like 50% before I d died to the water, of all things. Awesome. We got gems for that, I guess. Okay, back to gear four because I have to get back to the island somehow. But yeah, it's almost been an hour without a single drop. It's getting difficult. You know, I also just remembered this thing exists. Yes, another dragon orb. We get the last attack. We, then after that, we need to do it again so we can get them out. But yes, make it up without swapping. I can. Proud of myself, actually, for doing that. But yes, another dragon orb. That makes me so happy. Okay, let's fight this Kaido with gear five. Let's do it. So glad we finally got this. So let's go ahead. Let's turn on observation. Let's see how many lives it takes to kill him with gear five attacks. I have no idea where his hitboxes are for the melee hits. All I know is I'm actually doing quite a bit of damage. Look at that. Okay, I'm dead. All right, again. There we go. Now, there is another drop I can get from the Kaido Dragon, but it is really rare. It's 10% and 20% if you have the game passes. But it's that one Kaido had. You get it from the dragon itself, and I do kind of want to get it. But these orbs take so long to get. I might need to get a group of people to grind with. But let's go ahead and get this attack. Our last attack we can unlock. The next one is the mount, right? Yeah, I have the gun. But now I have this thing, which hits really hard. And I just want to see how much damage does it actually do. So if I go ahead and press B, this does... Wow! 23%. That is the heaviest hitting attack this entire setup has. And I can now one cycle the boss. Perfect. But this is going to be much easier to grind. And just out of curiosity, I just want to see. If I go ahead and do this. Yeah, I can, I can overlap several of them. Look at that. I did um, the gun and lightning at the same time. I do that again. I go big and then I press Z for the lightning. Yeah, I did the lightning strike at the same time. You can overlap a lot of these skills. That is actually really good. Those, yeah, I put clap in there too. So I can do gun and clap at the same time also. Cool, well, let's keep going. We need one more dragon orb to get the last attack. Plus it's probably worth doing spiritual dominance first because it stuns the enemy. Because you can just do this, then go up, and then loop all the other attacks into it. Look at that, 32,000 damage instantly. Very good. So I have realized a small problem with these attacks. Um, they put me in ceilings sometimes. I had to get unstuck out of a ceiling because that attack took me too high. Ooh, we get the sword, awesome. I think that's the only drop he has. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, though. Let me double check. No, yeah, that's the only thing he drops. 10% chance. Not too bad. Same chance as the new hat, which I want to get that. All right, time to fight the sea beast. And this time, I know I have the water thing. And there we go. Why am I on the floor of the water now? What the heck? Cool. Well, I'm guessing we'll travel back to the island like this. I even have a tracker for it. And who needs to swim when he can just walk on the sea floor as a devil fruit user? Because that makes sense. Okay, I joined a small server people grinding it to make it a little faster because I'm look, look how much experience I have left. That's how long I've been doing it. And I can't get this last drop. So I'm joining a small group. There's technically four of us, but there's only three here fighting. Let's see. Uh, maybe they, this should be an updated server too. So hopefully we should all get the drums from one round. But no, I've literally been sitting here forever trying to get this last one. Let's go. I just got one. The ultimate test, because this should be an updated server. Will it give us all the drums? I really hope it does. I'd also like to keep grinding, because I also want to try to get the main drop. Okay, we got drums. Let's go. It looks like they got drums too, so it is fixed. So the problem I was dealing with for the entire video of where I wasn't able to grind with people because only one person got the drums, that's fixed now. So just grind with a group of like three or four people. You can all get 20% and you all get yourself drums. So I'm glad that's fixed. I just wish they would have shut down servers, but they didn't. So let's go ahead and turn into gear five. And now I have Cloudfly. Look at that. I can fly around now. I can actually use this full time. No swapping back to gear four. Is there a water sound? 
That's what I would classify as a water sound being made. Well, I'm glad I joined a server to get my last orb and I just ended up getting it. Like I've, <laughs> most of the orbs this video has been mine. I think I've only done two others that weren't mine. Maybe just one, I don't remember. But I basically earned all of my abilities because I got one drum from an orb that wasn't mine and then one of my orbs I didn't get one. So logically, I technically got all the orbs by myself. But I wish I could have done it with people because it's much faster. Let's go! Another orb! You've got to be kidding me! I joined the group specifically because I wasn't getting any, but I just got another. I will say the most annoying part about fighting this boss as the person who gets the orb is that you have to actually transform back into gear 5 or 4. Well, let's see if I can get more drums. I already have maxed out and people are saying you can't get drums, so I'm curious. So hopefully they make it we don't have to hold the orb anymore. Hey! I just got dragon horns! And no drums! That's good to know. Let's go, though! We got dragon horns! This is the best hat in the game for fruit damage. For fruit users, because look at that health boost. So there we go! I got all the new items in the update. I think that's literally the only new accessory. But I'm still missing a lot of accessories, too. I checked. I mean, let's see. How many accessories am I missing? Let's actually, let's actually do a count. Okay, there's 21 hats in the game, and I have 13 of them. So I'm missing eight hats. I think one of them is no longer in the game. But there we go. I got all the drops from Kaida, so I don't need to fight them anymore. Oh, here's another question. How many, how many swords do I have? And the pillow doesn't count. This is the VIP one. I have, so I have 13 swords and there's 19 in the game. I'm counting, I'm counting the Krampus, which is no longer in the game. It's a cool little scythe. And it's also the Yoru, which is a game pass. I'm just out of curiosity, how do I look? Oh, my character's not even loaded. Let's reset. My character won't load. This is a great bounty farm, 3,000 per. I also get quite a bit of gems also. Overall, really fun fruit to use. I haven't really ever used any Gear 5s. I think the only other Gear 5 I've ever used in a game was the one from Anime Tales, which has no players. But the Gear 5 in that was a lot of fun. But I think this one's much more fun because there's a lot more abilities and it's actually permanent. Yeah, there we go. I got the, like, mustache eyes, I guess. <laughs> well, this is technically the best accessory pair in the game that you can get. So we are good. We also have the maxed out gear five. This took an unreasonable amount of hours. That last one took more time than the, all the other five combined. My luck was not with me at all. But yes, gear five is definitely really powerful. Look at that range, my goodness.